It's no secret that all great artists use content libraries. According to Google, a content library is a collection of digital content such as videos, images, text, and audio files that can be organized, stored, and accessed in a central location. For Blender artists, a content library is mostly comprised of models, textures, shaders, node setups, and more. Since the introduction of the asset browser, which makes it easy to manage pre-made assets, more and more artists are relying on, on packs of content, including scanned models, vegetation, background elements, and more. As an artist, the value of your work is measured by the quality of the final output, not how much time you spend making it. It's for this reason that most professional artists and studios are relying on content libraries instead of creating everything from scratch. With a limited budget, you might be wondering what options exist for Blender. Oh boy, they are so many, is all I can say. So let's explore the best content libraries the Blender community has to offer. The difference between Blender content libraries and other content libraries is that they're most of the times more than just a collection of assets. They usually come with extra functionality and procedural crowds is no different. For less than $20, you get a collection of 3D people that are animated and can behave like a crowd. So hence the name of the library, Procedure Crowds. The library comes with a complementary add-on that gives you functionality like crowd animation, randomization, and crowd control. The content library comes with over 20 3D scanned human models with animation and variation. If 3D scanned models don't do it for you and need more hands-on experience but not too hands-on, then the Human Generator Library is for you. You can use this library to generate 3D characters that are fully customizable. There are several templates to start from so that you're never starting from scratch. You can be as detailed as you want, controlling the first details, body, and clothes. The library also comes with a pause library and an animation library so that you can hit the flow running when you want to add animated background characters into your scene. And if you want to get up close with your character, the Human Generator Library lets you take over the character's rig to animate it as you want. While the Human Generator Library gives you the option to dress up your characters in different clothes, if you need further customization, then the Simply Cloth Library is the best option on the market. This is a library dedicated to dressing up the characters. The library is based off the cloth simulation system, and what you get are these cloth patterns that you can just simulate so that they will wrap onto the character. That way, no matter the size or shape of your character, the clothes will always fit without any hassle. The library comes with some pre-made assets, but it's the simulatable cloth patterns that sold it for me. If we are talking about content library, it's impossible not to talk about Botanic. This is one of the most popular Blender libraries. The library comes with a boatload of trees and vegetations, all detailed for that close-up shot. And if you want background elements without hogging computer resources, the library comes with tools to help you optimize the assets for a smooth rendering experience. And for animators out there, the add-on provides animated trees too. Content libraries are not just limited to models, they can be other things like a collection of skies, and that is what the True Sky Library brings. The clouds are procedural, and the skies range from all different styles, from sunsets, nights, daytime, and more. The library also comes with other functionality, like creating a full day and nighttime cycle, all animated and working with any template you select from the library for that high dynamic range render. While the True Sky Library brings you a library of procedure skies, if you want something simple but still rich in detail, then you're going to love HDRI Maker. This library takes the idea of HDRI lighting to the next level. It comes with over 500 backgrounds that can be DOM projected to make a fully integrated background with background deformation and more. World building is a satisfying endeavor, but it can quickly turn into a dreadful task if you have to build every asset from scratch. That's why a library of building, like what City Builder 3D provides, is a lifesaver. Watch your world come to life with a bustling metropolis filled with unique buildings from industry buildings, Soviet buildings, Hong Kong style buildings, and more. And if you want to add extra variation to your world, do it by capturing the vibrant and variant materials we see in the real world. Creating 3D imagery is a process of reimagining the real world on your computer, which means creating hundreds of materials found in the real world. Get a head start with Extreme PBR, which comes with over 1800 PBR materials with extra tools to help you customize and blend the materials into your scene. Like materials, the world is different everywhere. All places look unique and different. If you want a library that can fit any type of scene you can imagine, from snow-peaked mountains to tropical lands, 
True Terrain has them all, and they are all fully customizable with a contemporary add-on that is shipped with the library. The library comes with scattering features and extra details like rocks, grass, plants, and more to create realistic ecosystem. Cities are never empty. When you look at a city, whether from the skies or on the streets, the first things you see are the buildings, towering everything, then people, and finally cars. While the world is trying to rid of itself of these man-made beasts, in the digital world, they just look super amazing. The transportation add-on comes with over 80 of them in all types so that you can never miss what you want. One more thing before we move on from cities, what makes a city vibrant is its skyline. And a city skyline is not complete without an amazing sky backdrop. The physical starlight and atmosphere is a library that not only provides such backdrops, but it's a sky system that you can use to light up your scenes for daytime, nighttime, or all day around. If you want explosions, you should not be creating them from scratch. They take too long to make and you have to do a lot of experimenting to get them to look right. So what do you do when you need them? In Blender 3.0, they introduced the ability to import VDB files. These are volume objects that can be explosions, smokes, and a lot of other things. So studios like the RBD Lab have done a ton of testing and R&D to produce a wide range of explosions so that whenever you need one, it's always one click away. The same studio, Arabidi Lab, are also heavily invested in the VFX industry, so it's no surprise that they have yet another amazing library for VFX artists that come with tools that help you make and direct VFX shots. These libraries come with templates for fracturing and destroying objects and more. Finally, VFX is a skill of layering effects on top of each other, and one of such effects is adding a layer of atmospheric fog into your scene. There are several ways you can do that, but the best way is by adding volumetric fog from a library like what the smoke elements provides. They also have other smoke elements in their library, including vents, scenes, and more. These were some of the amazing libraries I could find that I think are worth every penny you spend on them. I created a list with lots of variation so that it can cover whatever you can imagine creating. If you think there is anything I missed, let me know in the comment section and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.